Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. I wanted to bring you guys an EOS update because I did this a couple days ago and I left everything on my chart the exact same and I wanted to see how we did in terms of talking about the pullback. Remember I told you it was getting top heavy when we got up to that 23 and we saw that wick and most likely people were going to be taking profits. And the first two spots I was looking at was the 236 retracement and then the 382. And guys, look how crazy that is. It wicked down to that 382, that 1579, and now we're back up and we're flirting with the 236 line at $18.61. So that's what I'm telling you. When you have those massive spikes, there's always going to be pullbacks and there's always going to be an opportunity to buy in a little bit cheaper. People see EOS or any of these coins spiking so hard and the RSI can be at 80 or 90 and people are still buying. And that's what I want to keep you guys away from. I want to be able to help you out in terms of putting your money in at the right time because there's always going to be pullbacks. And because we had this massive move, you could tell that we were going to pull back pretty good. And I'm actually surprised we didn't go down to the 50, hit that $13, and then start to spike up again a little bit because we have had good volume coming back in. Once we hit that 382, we bounced off that pretty hard and we went back up to the 236. But that's why it's so important to pay attention to your RSI, your MACD, your Fibonacci, and especially these Fibonacci levels, guys. Take a look. I mean, it's down to the T. It went to the 382, and now it's up at the 236. It, they're going to travel in these channels. So that's what I really want you to pay attention to. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the Fibonacci off here, and let's check the MACD. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. All right. So let's see what that's looking like. We're on the four hour here. So on the four hour, we had that hooking back up and now we're kind of moving sideways. You can see how the histogram was in the negative. And now what you see, do you see how it's been weakening in terms of the negative? You see that line there? So that's when it was at the worst. The selling was at the worst down at that peak and now we've been moving back up a little bit. Let's check it on the daily as well. Just see what that looks like. All right, so the daily, we are still up above, but you see that hook that was taking place. So when we started to get that hook or that flattening out, that's when people started to sell off. So that's why the MACD is such an important indicator. The next thing we'll do is look at the RSI, kind of see where we're at there. Okay. Okay. So the RSI, remember we talked about it, how it got up to that 90, and I was telling you guys, don't be buying right now. I know there's a lot of hype, but don't be buying because there's going to be a pullback. And now what you're seeing is the RSI at around 69 or so. So I would still even wait for a little bit more of a pullback. It just depends on what's going to go on with the volume, but just keep an eye on it, guys, okay? I don't want anyone to FOMO. I've FOMO'd over coins before, and I want to help people prevent that. So I want to bring this to you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Like I told you, EOS is a coin I do think is going to do really well. It's already done really well when we went from, you know, what was it? Probably, let me see here, $4, $5 right in that range all the way up to $20, $23. That's, that's one heck of a move, guys. So I hope you're all having a good day. God bless each and every one of you, and I hope to make you guys a couple more videos today. Like I said, it's just been crazy recently, but I'm doing the best I can, and I just love talking with you guys. I appreciate everything you do. So God bless. Take care. Thumbs up and subscribe if you can. I appreciate it.